to bat, you know, good swing on it, and um, almost a, really a lot of production out of that seven hole tonight with uh, him and Colton. But good swing, made a nice play. Did you think it had a chance to go from your? Yeah, I thought he hit it pretty good. You know, ball carries here, so I thought it had a chance for sure. What did you think of Miles? Uh, a lot of quality strikes. You know, made a couple mistakes that got hurt, and otherwise was pretty effective. Mike, you kind of thought with the roof close, it might jump. Were those balls jump a little more than normal? Yeah, you know, other balls. I mean, Colton got into his well. Bader got into his well. Um, so, you know, guys put good swings on baseballs and just, you know, you make good pitches, you'll be in good shape. But um, for the most part, we did that, just not enough. In the late stages there, is that shadow a big factor too? I mean, it makes it a little tougher. Yeah, you'd have to ask the hitters. I think anytime you got a shadow, that's that's probably not a favorable condition for a hitter. Um, but, you know, reality is we're going to be in shadows all year, you know, where we play. So, um, you know, just take good at bats, do our best. Well, we've asked you a lot about the top of your lineup, but what did today reinforce about the potential of the bottom? Yeah, I mean, I think we see how long the lineup can be, you know, with Dexter getting that walk, and um, I think he wanted to hit. Um, but, yeah, he got that walk, and then Colton did damage, and, of course, Harry had, you know, a couple couple big at-bats, and, um, you know, we've got some damage we can do in the nine hole when we, we need to hit for a pitcher. So uh, we got a long lineup and just proved it today. What did you sense from their starting pitcher? What was he doing to keep your top guys from producing? I think early on he just changed his speeds, and he was able to locate his slider a little bit, made some quality pitches, and, um, you know, he's moving the ball around a little bit and he's uh, created some timing issues a little bit. But uh, good game plan, good swings, good ball game. Just came up short. Mike, you talked a lot about having to use your right-handers in that bullpen to get their left-handers out with only him. Andrew doesn't pitch today, but your bullpen throws zeros up. Is that gratifying a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. Always look good to see the bullpen come in. You know, I thought Leon did a nice job. Um, you know, Brevs did his work and then Johnny Gant as well. You know, mostly controlled counts and, you know, executed game plan. Before he batted in the seventh, he had a conversation with Molina and Gary Cedarstrom. Can you talk about what that was about? Yeah, we were just talking about mound visit prior to the inning. Mike, it just seemed like a well-played game all the way around. Is this kind of a good example or an indication of what a dogfight this division could become? Yeah, Mark, I think that's a good example of how the you know we're going to play our game. Um, you know, we played really clean defensively and took good at bats, and you know, except for a couple of pitches that you know they put some swings on, we pitched well. So um, overall, well played game. It's not good enough. Goldschmidt, first game, uh, got a couple strikeouts, but he got that walk and then was able to tag up and go to third. What do you take what take away from him? Yeah, you know, it's just good to have him in there. Good to see him out there. You know, it's nice to have him on the field. You know, at first base, see him over there, and it just settles everything down. And um, then you obviously you look to see him up, you know, presence in the lineup. And a um, couple close pitches didn't go his way today, but you know, it's great to have him on the club. I can tell you that. Thank you.